So some bunny told me that you were on the hunt for best-selling items for Etsy to add to your shop for Easter this year. Well, I've got excellent news. You're in the right spot. In this video, we're going to go through three different bestsellers that are already performing super well on Etsy in the Easter and spring space. Together, we're going to find hidden listings in the digital download, print on demand, and handmade space because who wants to put all of their eggs in one basket? Are you ready? Let's hop in. And yes, I will be doing lots of Easter puns on this video, so just bear with me. Welcome back, Etsy sellers. We are not adding any fluff to this video, just hopping straight into the good stuff. Let's start by typing Easter into the Etsy search bar. When you type in Easter, I'm seeing Easter coming in at 3,300, Easter P and G coming at 785, Easter basket at 3000 and Easter decor at 1498. And this is exciting news because I want to make sure that we are looking at three different types of sellers and three different types of products again in the print on demand, digital download and handmade space. So let's go ahead and select Easter for now and head to the product analytics dashboard in Everbee. Now, if you don't already have Everbee, you won't be able to see those little worker bees, the total keyword searches, nor will you have that side panel come up that will help you hop into the list of bestsellers and see their keywords. So if you want to actually follow along with me on this video and do what I'm doing, I actually have a free trial of Everbee in the description of this video. No credit card or anything required. Just go ahead and grab the free hobby plan that so you can experience these awesome features alongside me. So go ahead, head to the description. I'll wait for you. You back? Okay, good. Let's hop back into our search. Now, of course, you could just go ahead and start scrolling through this list on the product analytics dashboard for the search term Easter. But I wanna give you guys some hacks that will make your life a little bit easier so you can actually find those little Easter eggs that might be a little bit more hidden. So the first thing I wanna do is let's click search entire database at the very top left-hand corner. This will give us a full list of everything that's being sold in the Easter space instead of just the current 70 listings on this page. Now that you've done that, you can see we have over 500,000 listings to look through. Next, I want you to go to filters the top right hand corner. Head to listing age and go ahead and put 13 as the maximum months that a listing has been alive. When this video is going live, we are about a month out from Easter. So I want to make sure that I am checking out those smart sellers who might have launched something in February of last year. You can also adjust the shop age to get a better idea of what's selling in the here and now in a young shop, especially if you are a new seller. After putting in those filters, you'll see that our search results have gone down from 500,000 to now 81,000, which really helps us better dial in on best sellers from this year and last year alone. Lastly, let's go ahead and filter monthly revenue up to the top and start with the digital download space. So the first digital download download that I'm seeing that is so adorable is a chicken crochet pattern. It is currently an Etsy bestseller and over 46 people have purchased this within the last 24 hours. It averages around $4,000 in monthly revenue, a total of 5,000 sales, which means this person has made over $20,000 from this one listing since this listing has been alive for five months. And the best part about this, because of the filters that I put in, you can also see that this entire shop has only been alive for six months. So if you have the ability to develop crochet patterns, hopping into some Easter or spring related designs might be the way to go this month. Moving on to a print on demand item that's doing well, we actually have something that can be made in both the print on demand and handmade space. It is a personalized name sweater for a baby or a toddler. The good news about an item like this is not only can two types of sellers create this, but it's also an evergreen product product that can easily hop into someone's car all year long. It does not have to be an Easter or a spring based item. You'll see within the keywords of this item that Easter gift is a key phrase that they're using, but you'll also see things like baby gift, kid's name, newborn, hand embroidered, things that could be evergreen throughout the entire year. And do you know what happens on average every single hour in the US? Over 400 babies are born. There will always be a need for baby clothes and then toddler clothes 
and then children's clothes. The list just keeps going on and on. A quick Etsy search will show us that over 13,000 400 people are currently looking up the term baby gift. Over 7,000 people are currently looking up the term toddler. And over 2,700 people are searching kids and baby. So if you've never thought about joining these niches, it might be a good time to start. And if you're wanting to learn even more about some different niches that you might not have thought about in the past that you could hop into this year yourself, I'm gonna remind you, we have a free trial for Everbee in the description. It's a link that'll take you directly to our free hobby plan. So I recommend do not leave this video before you sign up for it. Guys, before we spring into action into the handmade space today, I wanna encourage you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon so that you can be notified every time we go live or we drop a new video. You can count on us to go live every single Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern, and we also drop a new video every Tuesday. I would also really, really love to know what kind of niche you guys are currently selling in. So comment below what niche you're in, and I will comment back with some Easter-inspired designs for you. Now, let's get back into the hunt. So last up, like I mentioned, I wanna go ahead and hop into the handmade space. To be honest, the vast majority of the research that I've done today, focusing on Easter, was in the handmade space. So I highly recommend, if you are already a handmade seller, do these searches, use these filters like we did today on this video to gain some extra inspiration of what you could potentially add into your shop that can help your buyers this season. So this first one is one of the most successful items I have ever seen on Etsy. It's only been alive for four months, bringing in $40,000 on a monthly basis for this seller. So that means that this seller has brought in $160,000 from one single listing. This shop has only been alive for a year and they only have 228 listings. So they're obviously doing something right. So it is a custom puff print crew neck sweatshirt and something super smart that I'm seeing this seller do that without this search, I would have personally never thought about. And without this video, you might've never thought about either is they added Easter shirt and St. Patrick's Day shirt into their keywords for a listing that has really nothing to do with either of those holidays themselves. But they also added a photo. It's actually the second photo in their list. It says Happy Easter. This listing is for a customized puff print crew neck sweatshirt. You can put a logo, you can put a name, you can put grandma. But this seller was super smart gearing up already for the Easter season by saying Happy Easter in the tags and in their photos. All right, friends, that was a super fun search. I learned a lot. I hope you did too. Don't forget about that free trial forever be in the description of this video. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.